y'all it's me again welcome back to my channel and if you're new i hope you like this video enough to subscribe um so today i'm going to be talking about how crazy i was for fit and all this and all the steps i took in order to get into fit and um how much i, I love it there so i definitely recommend fit for anybody who's going into fashion um, so, let's get started. So, <clears throat> I fell in love with fashion when I was in, like, ninth, 10th grade, and that's when I decided that I wanted to go to FIT. Um, my teacher had recommend. no, I don't know if it was my teacher or my mom, but they had recommended, um, me go and take classes, high school classes at FIT, because uh, FIT, um, that, that, that. FIT uh, gives out and offers uh, high school students classes so they, they, they teach them they teach them how to draw how to sew how to drape whatever classes that you sign up for so I took a whole bunch of drawing classes because I love to draw and that's the main reason why I got into fashion um, so I started taking high school classes during fall like on Saturdays and Sundays and then um, during summer, I took it on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I think it was four days a week. I think. I'm not sure. I think maybe, maybe that was winter break. But I took maybe like two, three days a week during the summer. And I would wake up and I would go on the train and I would go to my classes at FIT. And um, they always told us there that like you weren't guaranteed to get in if you took these classes. But I just knew it would help me and it would help my... It, I was learning something at FIT that I couldn't learn at my school because my school, like, was, they were giving um, fashion classes but I had already got up to that level and I couldn't really go any further at school so I went and took classes at FIT and I really, really enjoyed them. Um, and then, so when I got up to that, I was, I would take, I took like four, I think four classes and I, everybody who you meet there is so nice and, and like, it's all different ages because it's like from ninth grade to 12th grade and it's all in one class and so it's really fun and I definitely recommend it if you're trying to get an FIT and you're still in high school and you still have time to take these classes and you like are in the New York area definitely do it it's so helpful and so much fun and you definitely get a taste of how going to FIT will be and it's just so amazing it's an amazing um, opportunity to do um, the classes are, I think, around $350. Don't, don't like quote me on that, but this it's around that price. And so there are, I wouldn't say that they're too pricey for a really, really good class. I mean, a college class costs like $1,000 or something. But yeah, so after I did that, um, I started applying to FIT and I realized I had no sewing skills, like none at all. I did not know how to sew at all. And I was like, what am I gonna do? So I um, had to talk to my mom and we decided that I was gonna take a, a class at the community college in my town. So I took a class at Nassau Community College, um, a sewing class with the college students and I learned so much and because there were so little students I got a lot of um, the teacher worked close with me and I learned a lot and I got to use the pieces that I made in class um, for my portfolio so at FIT you have to um, submit I think three three to four pieces sewn pieces in your portfolio it concluded with your <coughs> with your drawing project and so I did, um, I did a jacket, a skirt, like a, a pencil skirt with an invisible zipper, and then I did a regular elastic yoke skirt. Um, and those were the projects I did in class, and they were they were really good. And I'm really glad to the class because without that class, I don't think I would have gotten to FIT because I didn't even have a sewing machine. I was just. I didn't know what I was doing and so um, I did that um, I also wanted to say when you're when you're applying 
to FIT, like the, the design area, um, and they tell you to do like certain projects, make sure you follow every single thing they say because if you're off by like one little thing and you don't listen to what they say, you're, you're out. Like they're just gonna be like, because they have lots of people to go through, and if you mess up one thing, they don't wanna, they don't wanna deal with you, and they don't wanna have to deal with people who don't follow instructions so just make sure you follow every single um thing they say on that paper because if they just they don't care so make sure you follow every single instruction um i had my mom literally my mom and my teachers they went over like that paper over and over and over just to make sure like everything was okay and then um after i had everything i had signed up to go to Portfolio Day at FIT because FIT offers, I think, two, either two or three Portfolio Days before you submit it and um, apply. So I had signed up to go to the first one and I brought all my stuff with me and I had my boyfriend come and he carried some of my stuff and we went and um, the teachers uh, critiqued my work and told me what I should change and what, um, what they definitely think will help me get in and what which projects I should submit. I brought everything. I had like a portfolio case like this big and this wide. And I had brought everything and I just threw it all on the table and I was just like, which one should I do? And so I like put it on the table and they were like, wow, this is really good. Um, and they said which projects they liked, and she said, um, I like this project, draw two more designs that go with this project, and submit that. And then um, I, of course, had to do the the one that they assigned with all the instructions, like with the top and the pan and the skirt and the blah, blah jacket um, that match and whatever. And so I did that project, but then she told me to do that project and submit that one for the extra four figures. And so I did that, and I, um, yeah, and so that was that and I followed what she said and they loved my sewing stuff they said when I showed them my sewing stuff they said that I was definitely the sewing stuff was good and so I definitely recommend going to the portfolio day I've heard lots of stories of people going to portfolio day and being like being torn down but personally like I think maybe I don't know have experience of being torn down but critique being critiqued is very important because it just helps you get better and it doesn't it, it's not like pointing out what's bad it's it's like it's like you need to fix this so that you can be great you know so like I think being critiqued is really important I always like want to be critiqued so that I can be better because I just want to be better in my area you know and so I thought that was really important and I got critiqued and I fixed what they told me to do and here I am going to FIT so, um, I just highly recommend, um, I'm gonna put some bullet points up. So, one, follow all instructions. Follow all the instructions that they give you. Two, if you can, take high school classes at FIT. They are a big help and they, they just help you so much and you learn so much. Three, uh, sign up to go to Portfolio Day at FIT because they will guide you and help you perfect your portfolio before you submit it um four what was i gonna say for four i got the horse memory i just had it in my head um i just really think if you want to go to fit you have to be all in like i was i was preparing to apply to fit for like three years I was so obsessed, and uh, yeah, I was, and I was the only, my, my, I was like the first one to start, to like start thinking about going to art school, and my guidance counselor was like, you sure you won't want to apply anywhere else? She was like, you really should like make a list of six colleges that you want to go to, and I was like, I really only want to go to one, but I was like, I'm not even thinking about any other colleges. But um, I did apply to SCAD, and that's it. SCAD was my safe school because I knew everybody 
got into SCAD because they don't they don't make you like submit a portfolio or anything so if you can get in without even knowing how to draw so I applied to SCAD and got in of course I got a scholarship because of my um, grades and then I was just waiting for FIT because FIT takes forever it literally takes forever to send that packet saying that you got in I remember it we had acceptance day at my high school and I still didn't know. But I wore an FIT shirt. I was like, hey, I got in. I already know I got in. Number four, if you wanna get into FIT, be all in. You cannot be like thinking about it. You have to be like, I was obsessed with it. People who got into FIT, they were like obsessed with getting into FIT. So you have to be obsessed, obsessed about it. And so just keep positive thoughts. My mom always says, keep thinking that you already got in. And so I had that mindset the whole time. And I already knew. Well, I had I had hoped that I was getting in. Everybody around me was like, you got it. You're, you're in. Like, there's no way that you're not in. But just keep positive thoughts and just follow these four tips. And I know there are people who got in without the four tips um, that I'm saying. But, hey, I'm just trying to help y'all out. All right. See y'all next time. Love you. Also, I did my hair. If you want to see a hair tutorial of how I get my hair like this, um, comment below and let me know because I would love to. It's just a lot. I just have to prepare for it. So just let me know and I will definitely do it. Okay. <laughs> Bye.